All right, CPA Kimberly Washington joining me on the couch today for something really pretty exciting. Yeah. You've got some tips and tricks to get us to save up to a half a million dollars half in your lifetime. I love this. Or maybe. Yes. Or, or maybe uh, <laughs> the tips to get you there. It's yes. all about you doing these yes. tips. So yes. let's talk about the whole idea of saving a lot of money is daunting, but there is something special about the power of compounding, right? Right, the power of compounding. Many people don't realize that this is the ability to allow your money to grow faster. And the whole principle is, is that you're able to earn interest on top of interest. So say for instance, if you invest $10,000, you not only earn the interest on the $10,000, but you also earn interest on your 10,000 plus the interest that you accumulate in your account. So that's why it's so important to understand the value of compounding. Yeah, and you have a little chart to kind of explain that for right. us, right? Right, right. So I have a little chart and so just some information as it relates to saving for investing. So if you're an individual, if you start investing in your 20s and you invest at $100 a month at an 8% interest rate, you can get there at the age of 65 and have half a million. If you go into your 30s, you're looking at now about 200, a little bit more than $200. Of course, if you wait until your 40s, it's now 525. No. <laughs> yeah. And of course, once you get to your 50s, of course, it's a little bit more daunting and it's more than $1,400. But the whole point of this this chart is just to let you know that the earlier you start, the better. Right, and so you, you have some tips on how to actually save because again, the chart tells you everything, but sometimes you, you live right. paycheck to paycheck. How do you scrape by and save Right, this, this and so that's what I always say. So just start somewhere. You might look at the chart and say, okay, I may not be able to afford that. And that's okay. Just start looking at your budget and see if there's some way that you can find some money that you can be consistent because the key is being consistent over the time. It's mm -hmm. not so much the large amount of money. It's the whole principle of being consistent and understand where to save too as well. Remember, saving and investing are two different things. And so if you want to reach your financial goals, you have to learn more about investing to reach your financial goals. What's the biggest tip on how to get started? What do you I think? would say the first thing is educate yourself. Uh -huh. So right now, maybe you're working for a company. They have a full 1K plan. Sit down, open up that document and see whether or not how much return am I getting for this investment. If it's not where you want to be, pick up the phone because that one small call can make a big difference on your life. All right, pick up the phone or yes. just tune in to Kim Sense. She always yes. it with a, a special tip. What do you got? So right today? now, if you're thinking about retirement, look at your current assets. Also look at your Social Security account too as well. Determine whether or not you have any pensions and determine whether or not it, once you get into retirement, how much money will you have to spend? And that way you'll get an idea what steps you need to take today as it relates to retirement. All right, thank you for joining us thank right in so the heart much. of Mardi Gras. I know right. it's busy out it's, there. And tax season. Yes. And tax season too. <laughs> yes. We'll get out there and enjoy yourself. Thank, <laughs> thank we'll you. We'll put so all this much. on our website, WDS. Com. Christina, Quayla.